Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel For today's video we are gonna be attempting to do this beautiful beautiful look So if you don't know what this look is called This actually went kind of viral last month But I've been wanting to try it I just felt like it just wasn't the day But today is the day So this is called the Duvaline makeup look if you don't know what Duvaline is, it is a Mexican candy. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's delicious. Like, I'm obsessed with them. And I'm obsessed with the makeup. I'm gonna put a photo of the creator that actually made this makeup. Or, like, started this look, I guess I should say. But definitely go check out her page and definitely subscribe to the channel. The makeup is heavy on the contour and heavy on the blush which i don't have a problem with like i love blush i'm definitely a blush girly so i did already get started a little bit i did my brows i am gonna clean them up and i'm also gonna do my shadow but i'm just gonna go ahead and put some tape on here so that i do my best not to mess up my eyeliner because usually my eyeliner is what I struggle with. So I went ahead and put one tape already. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on the other side. Okay, I feel like that's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer on. And I'm going to actually use two concealers for this. The first one I'm using is the Hourglass Concealer. And that one I'm going to use on my eye and the reason i'm using the hourglass here is so it could sort of be like a primer for me so i'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then i'm gonna blend it out okay so i blended it out already now i'm gonna be using the master matte palette and basically doing my shadow my shadow is gonna be like a mix of brown and like a brownish red color so first I'm blending it very lightly with this color here and this color here. So first I'm blending it lightly with this color and this color over here. Which is like one of the lighter browns in this palette. So I'm just gonna blend it back and forth. And then I'm gonna add like a reddish brown to that too. And if you have this palette you know. But if you don't, this palette is super pigmented like super super pigmented it's definitely buildable it's not one of those palettes that you grab the shadow and it's still the same color it's still the same color no as you put more and more and more and more this one definitely gets darker so you want to be careful with that and i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this reddish brown color right here and i'm going in very lightly with it because i know that it's darker and i'm going in lower with it too I am now gonna go ahead and clean it up so using the same concealer that I used earlier I'm gonna cut my crease just a little bit just right here and right here by removing all the eyeshadow first and then putting the concealer but I prefer it this way I just feel like I like how it looks like it doesn't look bad if I don't clean it off first Okay, so I feel like that's fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the eyeliner on. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the eyeliner. And if I'm quiet for this part, I'm sorry, but I feel like I really need to concentrate. Okay, so I know I'm probably going to have to fix it even more. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape. I'm going to start off with this one. Honestly, that got some of my, some of my lashes. This tape will get off my hand. Anyways, okay, that one looks good. This one is the one that worries me because this one is like the trouble one. I think before I remove it, I'm going to go ahead and try to fill it in just a little bit more. Okay, honestly, I don't know how it's going to look, but let me just take it off. Okay, it's not horrible, but they're not even at all. <laughs> so... I'm going to see what I could do about it right now. Okay, literally, I think I just made it worse. <laughs> I feel like this is going to take me a while, so I'm going to tune you back in once it's good. 
Okay, so I know I'm probably going to have to fix it even more. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape. I'm going to start off with this one. Okay. Uh, honestly, that got some of my some of my lashes. This tape will get off my hand. Anyways, okay, that one looks good. This one is the one that worries me because this one is like the trouble one. I think before I remove it, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill it in just a little bit more. Okay, honestly, I don't know how it's gonna look, but let me just take it off. Okay, it's not horrible, but they're not even at all. I think I might have made that way too thick. But I'm going to go ahead and try to remove a little bit of it. Okay, literally, I think I just made it worse. <laughs> I feel like this is going to take me a while, so I'm going to tune you back in once it's good. Okay, I let it sit for a bit. Now I'm going to blend it out, starting off with my forehead. This is not my forehead. I'm sorry. I'm like out of it right now. Starting off with my chin. I can't believe I really said forehead. No, it's starting off with my chin. I'm going to blend it out. Now, my forehead. And my eyes, I like to go in with the brush. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I just feel like when you do the corner of your eyes, it's more precise with a brush so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i can make it much like like michaela says sharper we're gonna sharpen it up why does that actually look really good like what the fuck i haven't even finished and it's already looking good like i'm already loving that okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I'm like excited to see the results now. She puts on a little bit more blush. I think she puts on powder, I can't remember. But you could really go either way with it. You could either put more liquid blush or more powder blush. I kind of want to try this new blush that I got from Cream Hello Kitty. It is this really, really pretty like cream blush. I don't know, I think it's so cute and I'm excited to try it. So I'm actually going to go in with my finger. I peeled it off. So now I am going to go in with my finger. And this is looking a little weird right now. But it's such a pretty pink, like look at that. But then once you smear it, it's super, super light. I don't know if you can see it. But it's looking very, very nice. I am loving this blush already. Like, this blush reminds me of how the Dior blush looks. But it's creamy. This one's creamy instead of being a powder. I'm going a little heavy on the blush. Like I said, that's what the look calls for. So, I am bringing it up again. That is good. I'm going to go ahead and see it with just the mirror. Because this one has like a magnifying... This one has like a magnifying mirror. So I'm able to see even closer with it. Which is nice. I've been meaning to try the MAC like setting powder. Because I've heard really really good things about it. I usually use the Ilia. That one is my go-to. But... Like I said, I've been hearing good things about the MAC one and it does last longer because it's like the press powder. So I kind of do want to try it. I hope that it works for me because some powders tend to like dry out my skin so, so much. Okay. And I'm going to put some on my forehead too. Okay, and while I wait for that to just bake a little bit, I know it's a little hard to see it, but I'm going to let it bake, and while I do, I'm going to do my nose contouring. So I'm going to go in with my usual bronzer that I use. This one is the House of Labs 
in light level four and i'm gonna mix it a little bit with the one that i use for my cheeks just like a little bit of it and i'm gonna go in with it omg i'm already scared because it's very dark <laughs> This Mario palette does not come to play. Like, this Mario palette means business. It's so, so pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and now put some mascara. I'm going to put... Literally, I'm just going to put it because I feel like if I don't put it right now, I will forget it. Because it has happened to me where I put lashes on and I forget mascara. By the way, this one is from Rare Beauty. I love this mascara because the brush is really, really thick. And I've been having this thing where I love to use the mini size. Because I feel like you could really get in there with it. And not smear it so much because I tend to smear it sometimes. Okay. I love how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and dust off the powder. Okay, now that it's dusted off, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. So for lips, I want to go in with like the whole Duvalin look. So, so I'm thinking I use like a brown shade. And I have two brown shades. I have Cork and Strip Down from MAC. These are my top, top favorite brown shades from MAC. But I think I don't want to go in too dark with it because... I feel like it's not really the vibe for this one. So I'm going to go in with Strip Down. And I am going to go ahead and just line my lips with it. Okay, so this is the final look. And seeing it in the bigger mirror, like, up close. I like it. Like, it does look very pretty. I love exaggerated blush. But the only thing I got to say is I don't like the harsh line right here. I know sometimes... I know some people prefer, I know some people prefer like harsh line of blush here, which some people could rock it, okay? I'm not saying it always looks bad. Some people could definitely rock it, but personally, I think I could rock it, but it's not my preference, you know? I'd rather out a little bit more blended out blush because even after I set it and I bake and all that, I tend to blend it out a little bit more. In the video, she didn't do that. She just left it, like, with the harsh line, which is fine. Like I said, it's a preference. And for right now, it does look cute. I honestly didn't even know what to do with my hair. So I did, like, this pony. And I put random braids all over. I don't know if you could see. But I didn't... I really didn't know what to do with my hair. And I didn't want to do a basic ponytail. So I decided to do little, little braids. But overall, I do feel really cute with it. Like, it's not a makeup that I would say I totally hate. Like, I do like it. It's just one little thing that I would change about it. But overall, I definitely do think you should try it. If you are a blush lover, try it. But if your thing isn't blush, I don't think it's going to work for you, to be honest with you. But like I said, if you want to try it, maybe this could be the look that gets you into blush. Maybe. With that being said, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check my description down below. I have my boyfriend's channel linked. I have the channel that I have with him linked down there as well. Go check those out. Go subscribe. And I will see all you beautiful people in the next one. Bye!